Yo, is the shoe? I have been busting my ass. Dave Ray? What's got you in such a rush? I brought you a weapon. Well, didn't you already give it to me in the office? I felt that might not be enough. Think about it. You sent Wei Long to jail five years ago. But now, he ain't a punk no more. Guy's the head of Long Shi Gang. He hated your guts for sure. Today, his gang is hosting the Parade of Panate. His men gonna jam the street. Is he gonna cooperate with your investigation? Not a chance. It's gonna be ugly. Thanks, man. I appreciate the concern. Never mind. Long Shi Town is a party today. The streets are full of food stalls. I'm just here for the feast. Here, this is for you. Be careful, man. If the chump and his men make a fuss, don't hesitate. Just do what you have to do. You know I can handle myself. You're right. Still, be careful. I'll see you later. Later. I hear there's a stew pork restaurant in town that's out of this world. <laughs> Hi there, Zhang Dishu. I'm Mona, the senior mission intel agent on this case. I will provide you with the intel in this operation. Greetings, Mona. Pleased to meet you. Liu Xin is my supervisor. You solve many well-known cases with her. I'm honored to be part of your team. <laughs> You're being too polite. Wei Long is currently at the bridge and enjoying the pageant with his underlings. Keep going and cross the barricade. You'll see him once you get down there. Given your skills, this shouldn't be a problem. Thank you, Mona. What do you know about the Parade of Penate? The city god of Longxi Town embarks on his annual tour on the fifth day of the sixth month of the lunar calendar. People also call it the Parade of Penate. To ensure a year of fortune free of calamities, temple crews will organize a rich and colorful parade along the canal. The Longxi gang grew pretty quickly in the past few years. They donated vast sums for three years running. This fest cost them 50 million dollars alone. Thank you, Mona. That bit of intel is actually quite useful. I will keep an eye out on things, and update you as we go along. Be safe. I'll see you later. You too. Be careful. Wait long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well, if it isn't a great detective, Xiong Zixiu. To what do I owe this pleasant surprise? I'm sure you didn't come all this way just to see our little holiday celebration. This reporter's name is Lizbeth. Hot. She disappeared two days ago. It's too bad I never got to see her with my own eyes. Did any of you see her? Never saw her, boss. You hear that? Now if there's nothing else, piss off. Her co-workers say, 
that you're the last person she interviewed. I said you can piss off. You may have heard. We're investigating a murder involving several of your people. If you don't cooperate, I can move this up the chain. Then come back with a search warrant and take you down. If we do it that way, I'm afraid your extravagant parade of Penate might hit a few snags. Screw you! You think you can threaten me on my own turf? Don't think I forgot about our grudge from five years ago. Who do you think you are? You're just a petty detective. What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward. Why do you know me? I'm a cyborg, actually. The name's Funk, and I'm a black market dealer. I know Dave Ray from your office. You know Dave? How? I have a store at the North Latow Market of Dragon City. Dave pays me occasional visits to buy a few weapon chips or parts you can't get from the open market. Well, North Huakyang is the place for chips, circuitry, and other electronic parts. A techie like him who just arrived at Dragon City must feel as though he's hit a gold mine. Why are you here? I do business. And business is always better at troubled places. You seem to have a role with the Lucy gangsters. Do you want to check out my wares? They'll help you. Fine. Let me take a look. But first things first. I gotta tell you that Lucy gangsters buy things from me as well. You're quite... the businessman, I guess. I suppose you'll sweep the battlegrounds afterwards for weapons and loot. Yeah. Oh. 
Careful. Useless trash. You think I'm afraid of you, Xiong Zishu? We'll see who's more scared. Greetings, Zishu. We meet again. Hi there, Funk. I've found a few weapon-dealing terminals. Did you place them there? So you actually noticed. They're Weapon Authority Charge Device of the Dragon City Arms Alliance. They are also called Permission Unlock Terminals, or PUT, P-U-T, for short. Permission Unlock Terminals? P-U-T? The Dragon City Arms Alliance has an authorization system for the types of weapons that citizens can buy. Citizens must fully pay for a weapon's usage authority so that dealers can sell the said weapon to them. Why would they do that? Dragon City has a crime problem. They hope this can reduce the people's willingness to buy weapons. It also facilitates murder investigations. Once the murder weapon has been identified, they can quickly filter suspects based on their weapon authorizations. So did this method reduce the crime in this area? Huh. It's just a scam designed to rip us off and make more money. But a few citizens would keep charging up their authority permits to buy new guns, becoming indiscriminate hoarders. In truth, most buyers hardly use their weapons. I appreciate your honesty. Really. And to be honest, what I told you isn't exactly a secret. So, do you want to buy a weapon? Confirm this purchase. Try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! Kill him! Bring it on, big guy. Is that it? What's wrong? No more running? Yeah, how much do you make in a month? I'll give you a million and we're even. Deal? What was it that I just said? I'll catch you and break your damn legs. I really don't know where that reporter is! Don't come any closer! One more step and I'll jump! Go ahead. I won't stop you. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs>
Hi, Zishu. Care to visit the office today? Zishu, you've finally come. It's been a while. How... have you been? Zishu, you're finally here. Sorry to call you in on a Sunday. Hey, after all this time away, you're treating me like a stranger now. You're in a much better mood than I expected. I can't stay depressed forever. Anyway, what case was too hard for the great Liu Shi? Another reporter went missing after her vehicle was hacked. She's a reporter with the Dragon City Daily and the mayor's daughter. The mayor is a good friend and college classmate of the director. This reporter was like a daughter to him. Wait. This reporter? What's her name again? Lisbeth. It can't be. You know her? I don't know her. But what I'm about to say might surprise you. Tell me about it. Wei Long is the last person she interviewed. You piqued my curiosity and now you have my attention. This is a new case. Who gave you this intel? I was startled awake this morning by a dream. I remember it vividly. I went to Long Shi Town to look for Wei Long and investigate this case. You mean you dreamt of looking for Wei Long in Long Shi Town? <laughs> Quit messing around and tell me who gave you the intel. I'm not joking. I'm confused too. I'll just have to talk to Wei Long in Long Shi Town. Go on, keep messing with me. Parade of Panade is being held in Longxi Town today. The event is sponsored by the Longxi Gang. One more thing. As you already know, Wei Long is the last person that Lisbeth interviewed. There's bad blood between you from five years ago, and now he's the head of the Longxi Gang. There's no way he will cooperate willingly. Head over to Dave Ray's in a bit to get a weapon. Understood. I'll leave soon. I sent the detailed brief to the terminal outside the office for you. Remember to give it a read. Go upstairs and check in with the director before you leave. Great. Zishu, you're back. Thank you for coming back for this case. Hi, Director. It's been a while. You lost weight. I take it Liu Xin already filled you in on the case brief? Yes. I'm going to start investigating soon. To be honest, this case puzzles me. Many reporters have gone missing, and not a single one of them has been found. 
I watched that girl grow up. Please do everything you can to help. Don't worry. I'll do everything I can to bring Lisbeth back. Hey, Zashu, you're finally back. I've heard you're going to Long Sheetown to take out the most ruthless gang there. Got something good for you. Just think of it as a welcome gift. Let's see what you can do. Zashi, my man. I missed you. Dave Ray, good to see you. You find me new food during my absence? I'm glad you asked. I've been bugging Liu Xin since you've been gone. She says I'm making her gain weight from all the food. The quality of my diet has taken a significant hit. So, did you take Lizbeth's case? Yep. And now, I need your weapon support. No problem. I've got your firepower covered. Just let me know if you're looking for any weapons or upgrades. There's bad blood between me and Wei Long, so he is not likely to cooperate. What weapon do you think I should use to persuade him? I prepared some weapons for you. They're all reliable. Pick whichever you like. Is bad. I prefer.
gotta watch your ass! What the hell are you all looking at? Put the word out. Whoever kills him gets a 500k reward! If only I knew. Think I'm afraid of you, Xiong Shu? We'll see who's more scared. Try running again and I'll break your damn legs. I really never saw the bitch! Now piss off! <sighs> <sighs> Bring it on, big guy.
Hi, Mona. Why are you here? I'm Sorry, this door took me a while to hack open. So you're the one who opened the door for me? And I was just running out of ideas about it. Seeing you fight that augmented opponent got me quite worried. Thanks for your concern. How much do you know about that big guy? Well, I'm really surprised that you managed to beat him. These people are extremely strong professionals. Dragon City has plenty of mutant boxing tournaments. Many old professionals who refuse to retire often turn to mutagens to keep their careers going. These mutant boxing matches are extremely cool and bloody. You obviously saw how mutagen users can use strange abilities, such as electrical or flaming attacks. Such spectacles often draw larger crowds. This man is definitely a professional mutant boxer that Wei Long hired. How many fighters did Wei Long hire? I believe he's got more than one of them. I should go after Wei Long. I'm not letting him get away with this. Be safe. Try to avoid fights with such opponents. you not to get involved in this, or you'll die a very tragic death!
It's lucky you got back safe, Sishu. Longshi Town is a mess right now. Did we get any leads from the mercenaries that kidnapped Wei Long? The intel unit analyzed the images you sent. They're bionic human mercenaries from Koga Industry. That Japanese company? A large multinational security company? Yes. Koga Industry is a global leader in the private security sector, offering both individual and corporate level security solutions with their bionic human products. It's a family business, founded in 1979. The director of Koga Industry is a Japanese entrepreneur named Shizue Ogata. She's also 107 years old. Shizue Ogata co-founded the business with her husband, Hiroen Ogata, in 1979, but Hiroen passed away 20 years ago at the age of 93 due to organ failure. Thompson Technology hadn't perfected its core organ transplant technique back then, but Shizue can now use it to keep herself alive. Businesses are extremely competitive in the security sector. The Ogata family fought hard to maintain their monopoly at the early stage. Some family members even sacrificed their lives to achieve this. Shizue's lost all four of her children during the early expansion phase of the business. She now has only her three grandchildren left. One of them got into the film industry, one is a playboy, and the eldest is Hiroyuki Ogata. Hiroyuki Ogata is a highly skilled warrior who would do anything for the family. But he lacked business acumen and was made the commander of Koga forces instead. With none of her grandchildren competent enough to take over, the old lady had no choice but to continue leading the family business. From what I've heard, Koga Industries' corporate creed is to follow the Bushido spirit, be loyal to its clients and agreements, and attach great importance to its corporate image. They're very selective of their clients. Why would they provide security for a gang member like Wei Long? Forget it. I'll take a trip to Koga now. Easy, man. There's new intel about Lisbeth. The intel unit's AI, codename Fawn, finally ran through all of the surveillance cameras in Dragon City. By comparing every frame of all the video footage over the last few hours, the final location of Lisbeth's car can more or less be confirmed. Ditch Village, an abandoned village 40 kilometers away from the firm. Ditch Village? I remember past reports of an epidemic there and all the villagers were evacuated. Now that place is cordoned off and abandoned. Why would Lisbeth go there? We sent a drone to take some video clips. The village was completely deserted and no useful intel was collected. Based on these two leads, where do you think will be most worth investigating? Sure, I saw the Long Shi Town brief. Good work. Hi, Director. Sorry about the mess. What's most important is that you come back in one piece. Don't worry about the rest. We already sent a team in to take care of it. Liu Xin told me there's two leads to follow now. It's your choice. I'm going to. You don't need to fill me in on the details. Just go for it. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Director. I'm leaving now. Zishi, my man. You all right? I heard you tore the Long Shi Gang a new one last night. I'm fine, thanks to the weapons you gave me. I should have given you more ammo. I have some clues. I plan to continue the mission. Let's see what I can set you up with.
You've got guts. Stirring up trouble in Kunga industry. Apologies, madam. I'm Detective Shang Zhishu from the Changshu Detective Office. Your mercenaries took way long from me. He's a major suspect that we're after. A petty detective. Searching for a gangster? Wrecking havoc in my territory? Take Kunga Industry 4. <laughs> You must be the so-called top fighter of Dragon City. Hiroyuki Ogata, Koga Commander. I know it's difficult to negotiate after all that's happened, but how about this? You and I have a contest. If I can last for three minutes against you, you hand over Wei Long. Deal? <laughs> you are interesting. I accept your change. But this isn't a competition. It's a battle to the death. I don't need three minutes. If you can survive against my for one minute, you win. Do you accept? Looks like I have no other choice. And if you lose? If I lose, I don't know where you get your confidence from. How about this? If you defeat me to defend the honor of the samurai and my family, I will take my life in Seppuku. You're called Shun. Right. Meet me in the courtyard of floor 32. Before that, you'll have to prove you have what it takes to make it up there. How about if you lose your hand over Wei Long?
Keep my word, and pay the price. I have no desire to take your life. Just tell me where Wei Long is. Katana wo uruse! Watashi wa mou 107 sai da. Anta ta chimago san nin. Hitori wa eiga wo tori ni itte. Hitori wa onna ni oborete.一族のためにだが、私から見ると、あんたは考えが足りん。今のように一族の繁栄に必要なのは、たやすく命を懸けに出す。無効水な人じゃない。必要なのは、知恵と責任感。まさかこの老いぼれを。いつまでも一族の世話を焼かせる気か。私は兼ねてより、我が一族を君に託そうと考えていた。だが、いつもそんな考えなしじゃ。どうやって安心して一族のことを君に任せられるのか。失望させてしまいまして。
You, the troublemaker. Wei Long is a parasite. If it wasn't for our business partner, I would have wiped him out. He was escorted to the Tang Dynasty Hotel. Go find him and never come back. Or you'll die a painful death. Understand? Thank you, madam. Zishu, you defeated Hiroyuki Ogata. Unbelievable. Just luck. Did you hear Shizue Ogata say that she was only protecting Wei Long because of her business partners? Yes, I do have some leads on the so-called business partners. Koga Industry is a family corporation, but there are three companies that own a lot of their stock and have a large degree of control over Koga. One of them is a bionic human manufacturer, one is a bionic human algorithm company, and the last one is Thompson Technology. I can understand the first two companies having contact with Koga Industry, but Thompson Technology is a biotech company. Why would they have such a deep relationship with Koga Industry? Thompson Technology uses Koga Industry's bionic humans for security and is one of their key clients. Each company holds shares in the other. In addition, Shizue Ogata replaced her heart, lungs, and stomach using organ transplant tech from Thompson Technology. Which company do you think is more likely to be protecting Wei Long? I have a theory. Do you remember the case from five years ago when you arrested Wei Long for killing Chiao Liu in the Longxi Gang's infighting? Wei Long hired a top-notch team of lawyers to defend him and successfully cleared his name. Once out of prison, Wei Long rose to power in the Longxi Gang and is still their leader to this day. There's no way that Wei Long had the funds at the time to hire that team of all-star lawyers. His team included three lawyers, each from different well-known law firms. I investigated the finances of those law firms. Soon after successfully defending Wei Long, these three law firms each received a large transfer of funds from the TomTop Law LLC. TomTop Law LLC is a well-known firm in Dragon City. Thompson Technology is his biggest client. So you think that Thompson Technology is protecting Wei Long? This is just a theory. I can't draw any conclusions just yet. I'm going to the Tang Dynasty Hotel to catch Wei Long and bring him back. We'll get it all out of him. I sent someone undercover to investigate the Tang Dynasty Hotel. Wei Long has many guards there protecting him. If this op gets out of control, we may not need to get Wei Long back in order to learn where Lisbeth is. You mean his e-brain? Right. According to the law, memories stored in an e-brain can be admitted as evidence at trial. Unless the data is a copy. In order to prevent false memories, the secret key created when an e-brain is installed is matched with the DNA, making it easy to confirm whether or not the data is a copy. If it really comes down to it, just rip the e-brain out of his neck, and we'll have all the information inside his brain about Lisbeth. Tang Dynasty Hotel is one of the most luxurious hotels in Dragon City, and serves the most prestigious high society. I prepared a tuxedo for you to blend in. Time to greet the upper class. I'm leaving now. <laughs>